Ender Golems were once powerful protectors of the end and feared in the overworld. Their vastly improved powers gave them the upper hand on almost every mob. Its sole purpose was to prevent any harm being done to the creatures who reside within its realm. But how did this mob come into existence? And where are they now? This is the story of Minecraft's Ender Golem. Unlike regular Iron Golems, these beasts would use their Ender teleportation abilities to explore and roam far off lands and realms. While Endermen can teleport themselves and various types of blocks, these Golems were capable of so much more. Whole chunks could be transported in the blink of an eye, leaving any villager or player confused. But every strength comes with a weakness. And just like the Endermen, any contact with water sent a shiver down the Golem's spines. Being their main food source, Iron Golems knew to stay alert at night, ready for any Ender Golems on the hunt. However, the Ender Golems were too fast and would take out their prey in an instant. The Ender Golems would feast on their iron remains, which helped them gain their full strength and abilities. Because of this, villages across the realm were left more defenseless than ever, leading to an increase in villager raids. Meanwhile, a dark entity watched from the shadows, keeping an eye on the changes that were happening throughout the world. Hungry for more lore? Make sure to subscribe to Dr. Blocks. What if I told you that these very creatures were not naturally formed, but created by the Endermen? Often hunted just for their sacred pearls, Endermen became outsmarted by the players and were left feeling weak and vulnerable. These pearls, when mixed with other ingredients, would lead these players to another dimension. Endermen had had enough and decided they needed a new way to protect themselves. They took notice of the villagers' line of defense and their iron golems. They were the weakest mob in the world, yet the most protected of all. With this as inspiration and the use of blocks they took from other dimensions, they formed giant golem structures all across the overworld. Days turned into weeks as these creatures tried, attempt after attempt, but still nothing happened. One day though, a certain Enderman got the formula down just right. He put the final block in place and the world began to shake. As other Endermen ran and teleported away, he stayed to observe his creation. Standing before him was the first Ender Golem brought into existence. Finally, the Endermen had a protector, someone to keep them safe from the players that had hunted them for so long. Things were finally starting to turn around for the Ender species. They went around, and he showed the Golem all of their looted and destroyed End cities. The Ender Golem was confused. Why was this happening? The Enderman taught him their history and their struggling relationship with players. Part of their nature was to go into different dimensions and take resources for their own survival. Players, however, did not understand it and thought of it as stealing. Because of this, thoughts of revenge grew. Players knew they had to travel deep in the end and take what was theirs and more while they were at it. Because of this, Endermen couldn't build up a civilization and stay safe. They were always on the run. The Ender Golem knew what had to be done. His teleportation abilities were far more advanced than any Enderman. It was as if he was in multiple places at once. But that wasn't all. The Ender Golem teleported out. This time when he returned, he brought an entire chunk back with him. He then used this chunk to upgrade the city even further, making it even stronger than it had ever been before. The Endermen looked in awe. This one singular Ender Golem was capable of all of this? They must have more. Endermen all over the dimension teleported back into the overworld, creating more of these Golem structures. The overworld felt the detrimental effects of more and more chunks just disappearing. Villagers began losing increasing amounts of food and resources. Iron Golems would vanish overnight, leaving villages completely defenseless. Villagers and their families were forced out into hiding. While this side of reality was suffering, the end was thriving. End cities went into construction everywhere, the next one always being better than the last. Endermen and their population also started to grow. As the end population grew, so did the strength and health of the end dragon. 
The mysterious entity, still watching from the shadows, took note of all of this. Some of the Endermen were satisfied with what they had accomplished, and they could finally live in peace. However, one power-hungry Enderman was far from done. One Enderman, who had lost his family to the brutal attacks of the players, wanted more than just protection. When he was young, both his parents died to players seeking out the Enderman's sacred pearls. Growing up alone, this Enderman sought protection at first, living in fear of when a player might attack him. Once the first Ender Golem was made, some of the fear that he lived with subsided. As time went on, and more Ender Golems joined the end, this Enderman saw just how strong they could be. Not only did they not have to worry about players, they now could become the Apex Predators. This Enderman began recruiting others with his propaganda of power and resolve. Over time, more and more Endermen began to believe that not only should they not live in fear, but it was their turn to rule the dimensions. However, not all Endermen thought this was a good idea. They were happy with the end and the relative peace they had. Among those who enjoyed this peace was the first Ender Golem ever made. Without the heart to hurt his own kind, he watched passively as this party, known as the End Rulers, grew. Eventually, the End Rulers had enough recruits and materials to blitz the overworld. Overnight, a mass of Ender Golems was created. Entire villages began to disappear, brought into the End, and transformed into these new End Cities. Iron Golems and their population was now almost extinct. As the End Rulers' movement gained steam, they created more and more Golems. Things began to look very bleak for the overworld, as the End Rulers grew exponentially. Half of the world's chunks at this point went missing, causing deep pits that led players and innocent mobs to their bedrock doom. The first Ender Golem took note of this and grew sad. He glanced around at their flourishing cities, then would teleport back to the overworld, just to see nothing but fire and emptiness. Was this really why they were created? He thought it was for the Endermen's protection, but instead they were used for destruction. Herobrine saw this and noticed that as the End grew more powerful, so did all the entities in it, along with the Ender Dragon. The thought of the End becoming so powerful that it would rival even himself infuriated Herobrine. He moved to solve this nuisance before things got out of hand. One day, as the first Ender Golem was wandering through the End, quickly realized that, strangely, clouds were beginning to form all throughout the sky. And for the first time in Minecraft history, the end began to storm. What is this? How is this possible? He looked around and saw nothing but Endermen freaking out. Some, thankfully, were able to hide inside their homes, but most of them were trapped on the outside. Ender Golems, too, were feeling weak and beginning to panic causing chunks of the end to randomly teleport with them. End cities started to crumble down as things deteriorated into pure chaos. Herobrine overlooked this and was pleased with what his powers had accomplished. Soon, the end will be no more. The first Ender Golem quickly started to take action. He would go around, teleporting in blocks to shelter the hurting Endermen. While the end rulers were bent on greed and power, he remained true to his origin, a protector. The rain continued to pour, killing most of the species in this dimension. He turned around to see all of his brethren being erased from this world. The first Ender Golem was now the last. He knew that he could not beat the rain and that things would only get worse. It was then that the Golem began hearing whispers within his mind. And in a haunting moment of clarity, the Golem knew what he had to do. He quickly teleported back into the overworld and began to summon every ounce of his Ender Strength. As the first Golem's power charged, the entire dimension began to shake. He thought back to the Endermen who had created him, and knew that he needed to save them no matter the cost. Lightning started to spark around him, and after a blinding flash of light, only a massive crater remained where the Golem once stood. The pouring stopped. The cloudy formations in the sky began to disappear putting the end back in its original state. The Endermen that were left walked out of their now destroyed end cities and teleported to the overworld in search of their golem, only to find the massive crater. The survivors looked into the pit to see the original golem statue standing there at the bottom. The Endermen then realized what had happened. The golem had done its service. It had protected them. 
life after the Ender Golems went back to normal over time. Endermen were able to build up their end cities to what we know them as today. Villagers were able to build back their town defenders, allowing them a fighting chance against their enemies. Chunks slowly were able to recover. However, some never recovered the same. Since these events took place, no one has been able to bring these Golem statues back to life, though it is unknown why. Most are glad they are gone, for their presence only brought terror and the downfall of both their worlds. Others, however, believe that they are still alive to this day, somewhere in the world, waiting for their next moment to strike.